Hello, my name is Frankie Kabitsky and I'm a PhD researcher here at Kew Gardens in partnership with Royal Holloway University of London. My PhD looks at the history of papermaking and my base objects or resources really are items in the economic botany collection at Kew. So what I'm really interested in is a period of experimental papermaking starting in around the mid 19th century. What was generally used by papermakers here in Britain was cotton rags as it was used uh, in Europe. But what happens is we get a shortage. They start to experiment with lots of different things. So today we know that our paper is generally made from wood. But in this period they look at different grasses, various other different plants to see if that could fill the gap. What they started to think about in terms of paper makers was whether bamboo could fill the gap. Now bamboo of course is a fast growing resource, something that we think about today when we start to use bamboo, but it's also found in lots of different climates. And importantly for British paper makers, it was found in British India and British Burma. Because it grew in such abundance and so quickly, this could lead to a large resource that could fill that gap. So the item that I want to talk about today is a pamphlet made from such a material. This pamphlet is made from bamboo and survives here in the Economic Botany Collection, made by Thomas Rouselidge, suggesting bamboo as a material for British paper making, but also really advocating for it and trying to get people on board. Interestingly, bamboo has been used as a paper making resource in different parts of the world, specifically South Asia and East Asia, for many thousands of years. What he was working on is a way of pulping it and producing it to make Western style paper that be, could be used. So things like printing, uh, cheap letter writing paper, those sorts of things to fill the gaps that were needed by the growing empire and Victorian literacy rates. The next item I wanted to show you is dried paper stock or fibres used for paper pulp made by Thomas Routledge in 1875. He patents loads of processes on how to break down fibres and make them useful for the paper maker. And this is one such thing. So this idea was to dry um, bamboo paper fibres at the source in British Burma, send them back to England in a sort of dried format. This then could be used by the paper maker to make pulp and then make paper. It allowed him to transport it from different places without it fermenting or breaking down, which happens with bamboo, but also to do it in an economical way, to take a lot of the weight and water out of it and really compress it, which was a really important part of the process. And what's really special about this sample is that this kind of uh, part paper doesn't really exist elsewhere. And it's really amazing to be able to see it after all these years. What is wonderful is here in the Economic Botany Archive, we have objects that tell us those stories. And for a researcher like me, I'm able to link the history that we do know with the history that we don't. And this research is vital to find the next papermaking material, a new invention. If you'd like to know more about the Economic Botany Collection, keep your eyes peeled for the next episode in the series. You can support our research and collections here at Kew by donating today.